Hey what's up guys, Mazze and welcome to a new video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a tutorial on how to make a cocoa farm. The reason I'm doing this is because we're now in 1.3. Finally, yes, I'm excited for this. And anyway, uh, now you can actually uh, farm cocoa beans. If you don't know what cocoa beans are, they're just none of a basic food sauce you can make a cookies with if you add wheat to it and you can make a couple of other things which I'm not going to get into because I actually don't know what they are anyway now I've designed a farm uh, a farming system kind of that works pretty well I'm not saying it is the best farm ever for cocoa beans I know there's probably more sufficient ones that work better or do a better job of it but this one gets the job done and I designed it myself and I've not seen it anywhere else made the way I've made it so yeah let's head over to it now these are the blocks, actually before we head over let me just tell you what you need, this is what you need. You'll need some cocoa beans, a dispenser, redstone torch, well red you'll need a couple of. So just keep try and get like, uh, you'll probably need like three, uh, some jungle wood obviously, a button and some leaves if you want to decorate after you finish. So let's head down to the actual farm, okay so here it is, uh, and there it is basically so if you add the cocoa beans on the two sides here's where the cocoa beans will go as you can see it looks pretty cool and if you want you can add one there now as you can see I've used a dispenser here which is gonna push water out which is gonna then fall onto all of these so let me show you what's gonna happen that's what's gonna happen and after it's pushed all the cocoa beans out if you press the button again it's gonna stop and you can collect the, you can just collect the cocoa beans. Now, what you could possibly do is have a little stream of water following up to another uh, collection point where you would like to collect all your all your cocoa beans from, or something like that. So yeah, this was a quite simple design I made. It didn't take me quite long to figure out because it's quite simple as you can see. But I did try to use some stuff that I added into the new update 1.3, and one of them was the dispenser, uh, which can now push water out. So I did that, and uh, I kind of used it in this. So it looks pretty nice. I've used the jungle wood, and if you want to decorate it like this, you can just put it against the wall, and it really doesn't take up much space. So I'll show you what how much space it actually takes. So it takes about three blocks and five blocks high. So here it is, all stripped down. Basically, it, you just need like two torches, two redstone torches, and dispenser and some jungle wood. So basically, what it's doing is this torch, this torch powers the dispenser. But while this torch is here, it cancels that torch, so it doesn't give any power to the dispenser. And then by adding this button here, this when when this is pressed, it then cancels this torch, which then leaves that torch to power the dispenser on. So let me show you how to make that. I already made it once because I tried to make the video and I failed <laughs> anyway. So we just need, I've done mine four blocks higher, but you can go higher. So go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And now I'm just going to do it anyway because these blocks that have been changed, whereas the goddamn logs can be now other way around, is really, really irritating. I don't like it that much. Anyway, so we're going to need a block there and a block here. Also a block there so we can place the dispenser. Now we can get rid of that block. Oh god, oh, that's not what I meant to do. Then what you want to do is get rid of this block, put a torch there and then a torch there. And then uh, hollow this out, put another block there most likely. And there we go. That is it. If you can hear the click, that means it's working. There you go, it's coming on and off. And there we go, there's how it's done. Pretty simple. Then obviously you can put your cocoa beans on the side and you will need to, however, have blocks on either side of the dispenser like so. So when the water comes running down, it doesn't go anywhere that you don't want it to. So now it will only stay in this area. And also if you put holes in the middle of the ground, it will um, also just stay in this line and it won't the water won't spread out. Now, I thought this was really small and this would only allow you to get a couple of cocoa beans, although you can still get quite a bit. I thought for those hardcore cocoa beans lovers, I would design a much bigger one, much bigger cocoa farm, which I have. And this is basically using the same technique, same idea, I've just made it, basically I've quadrupled it. So the first side, which is the actual one with the button, I've not included cocoa beans here, I've just covered that up. Now I'll show you how to do all that in a minute. Basically I've still used dispensers and 
using the same wiring kind of I have um, made it work so here we go power it on what comes out power it off you could essentially just literally push the buttons uh, like a second after and it will work so here we go we've got all our cocoa beans I can't be bothered collecting them all I'm just gonna go around and collect them all I can and there we go there's our cocoa beans and you can replace them so this one looks pretty awesome and jungle jungle um, whatever leaves make it look pretty nice now I've added this block here just because it blocks that water from coming down here and just sends it directly through here now these blocks are here to obviously protect it from uh, going to the side however if you would want to add more cocoa beans and if you just take away these corners you can now put cocoa beans on these sides so I was basically just putting cocoa beans on only um, these sides and then these sides but however now you can put cocoa beans on here so you can basically have a way more cocoa beans than before but um, I didn't really want that many so hold on so now you can have cocoa beans there Ugh. there 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 let's just put all these on it's very annoying and cocoa beans farm pretty quickly so you don't you won't need no bone meal or anything like that see how I mean now you got a lot more cocoa bean than last time and if you place this there and the water should still stay in those same holes that you placed before if you didn't do the holes there we go and there we go that's a lot more and you get a lot more do it the way the reason I did it the other way is because I thought it looked uh, looks a lot nicer but I mean it's your choice you can do whatever you like so I will show you how to make this now this is it stripped down basically here we go you get four pistons on top and you do the basic design we did before but you do them three four times really so here's the inside we get we've got basically two torches again so basically still same materials nothing new just a bit more jungle wood and more dispensers now these two are here just to make obviously look cool so you can have the button on the side so we still have one torch that is cancelling another torch and then the button will cancel the bottom torch which will then allow this to oh my bad you will need three torches this torch is going to cancel this torch and then this torch since it's already cancelled it's going to let this torch power these on so right now these are powered on well they're not powered on but uh, when you press the button it, they will unpower and power on so then, the pa then they will power on okay well guys sorry minecraft uh, perhaps decided to stop recording because I ran out of memory actually so I'm gonna have to wrap it up here here's the basic design and basically uh, I explained everything in the little last bit I made but yeah this one powers uh, this one the button disables this torch which then allows that one to um, disable that torch and then after the button stops doing its job then this one will repower which will then allow them to spread the wall so here's the basic design and yeah so yeah I'm gonna wrap it up here I hope you enjoyed this I know there's a lot more uh, better farm video farming uh, cocoa farm videos on out there on YouTube but I tried to make my own so yeah I hope you enjoy it guys and I will catch you